once we get to Capitol Hill, they're happy to see us. A young dairy farmer pleading his case in Washington. Michael Leahy is a farm first young cooperator from Fond du Lac. He's lobbying on Capitol Hill with Travis and Janet Clark. They say despite being up and comers, they think their insight is respected. Being young, we're also using new technologies when we're farming and we're, um, I would say, more advanced than my parents were when it comes to technology and farming. Janet is following in her parents' footsteps. Travis married into it. He says lawmakers need to understand how their decisions on trade and immigration affect farmers' lives. Clark says eliminating trade deals will affect their sales and cracking down on immigration would deplete their workforce. What would happen if all of a sudden they took away all of our workers? What would happen? I mean, those cows need to be taken care of. These young farmers say it can be difficult to stay connected to their federal lawmakers. Agencies like the American Farm Bureau Federation help to spread their message across all levels of government. Legislators need to know exactly how their farmers feel about things. And the best way to do it is have farmers tell their own story. Randy Dwyer is the director of the Farm Bureau's grassroots program. He says when it comes to federal legislation like the Farm Bill, the young farmers can play a role if they want. My suggestion for young farmers young ranchers is to get involved in the process now. Start early. Don't think you have to wait till later on when one there's an issue or a crisis to get engaged. The current farm bill expires next year and lawmakers are already working on the next one. Reported in Washington, I'm Peter Zampa.